At the beginning of the film, we see the product being tested by injecting it into an egg, which then makes two eggs. And forget making another version of myself, I would totally use this just to double my breakfast. Demi Moore stars as a celebrity aerobics show host who is fired on her 50th birthday and is then offered a chance to get a black market drug which spawns Margaret Qualley and the two have to switch out every seven days so Qualley can take over Moore's career as an up-and-coming young TV host. I like that this product basically sets you up to fail with the strict process that you have to go through every day and the consequences if you mess up even once. I was like, oof, <laughs> this is a lot of work. I'm not taking this drug. This is clearly some monkey's paw shit and they're gonna make a parable out of me. No thank you. And that's what happens. The more popular Quali gets, the more she uses up the other's time, who ages rapidly, and there's little things I love too. I love how when it's Demi Moore's turn to live, she's basically bored, depressed, seems to have no friends or family around, becomes agoraphobic, people who are nice to Quali treat more like shit, so she's just killing time waiting to turn back into the younger version. Hell, it gets to where they almost just start messing with each other, like trashing the apartment, like they're in a clone-swapping odd couple. There is full-blown body horror insanity here, and the makeup effects are fantastic, as is the musical score, but what really sells it is the acting. You've got actors here who are turning in some of the best work of their career, especially Demi Moore, who goes all out in making this role incredibly memorable. Quali is fantastic in it, and after kind of a hit-or-miss performance, in Reagan, Dennis Quaid rocks in this. He is having a blast here as the network executive and steals every scene he's in. Also, what a versatile pair of movies he has in theaters now. Wow, I guess you could watch them back to back. Uh, both have a lot of scenes in Hollywood. There's some very unique scenes, too. It opens with this great overhead shot of her Walk of Fame star and how its creation is a glamorous event and then it gets more cracked as the years go on. I really do dig the hell out of this, but there are issues. The movie definitely has a lot of nods to Stanley Kubrick, David Cronenberg, and David Lynch, which that's fine. There's a ton of stuff I love that clearly takes a lot of influence, but they consistently make something their own. Here it gets a little too carried away sometimes with homaging other things to where it got a little distracting as it went on. There'd be parts where it's like, okay, now it looks like The Shining, now it's like The Fly, now it's 2001, now it's The Elephant Man. It would start taking me out of it. And the last 15 minutes or so, you could poke some holes in, but it gets so insane that it was always entertaining and even a little funny. It's a two hour and 20 minute movie that went by pretty quick, honestly. For me, it was a very high B+. I won't say I loved it as a whole, but I had a great time, and it's definitely one of the better movies in theaters now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to subscribe to our channel today and click the notification bell, and we'll see you next time.